quantum radars could unstealth the F-22, F-35, J-20 and even B-2. Canadian Department of National Defence was investing $2.7 million in research at the University of Waterloo to investigate quantum radar technology. While Canada has opted out from acquiring F-35 stealth fighters, the North American Aerospace Defense Command operates jointly with the United States and must contend with potential intrusions by new Chinese and Russian stealth aircraft. Quantum weapons technology may seem to belong more to the realm of Star Trek than a real-world weapon system. A quantum radar functions by using a crystal to split a photon into two entangled photons. Then the radar beams one half of the entangled pair outwards, and monitors the corresponding effects on their entangled partners. If the beamed particles bump into, say, a stealth fighter, the effect on the beamed photon would be visible on the UN beamed partner photon as well. Then the photons which register a ping are sorted out from the unaffected photons to form a sort of radar image. This radar-like capability would not be susceptible to many of the technique designed to circumvent radio wave reflection, a reduced radar cross-section and radar absorbent materials, and also would not be affected by jamming and other electronic warfare missile, which play an important role in defeating air defense radars. Furthermore, the entangled photons would not be detectable, giving detected targets little warning, and would not be traceable back to their source. However, quantum radars have their limitations, like traditional radars, they degrade in resolution over longer distances. This is because the entangled particles do eventually lose the coherence of their quantum state over long distances, a phenomenon which can worsen in adverse weather. In September 2016, China claimed its China Electronic Technology Group Corporation had developed working quantum radar with a range of 100 kilometers, 62 miles. If the Chinese claims are true, they would be at once impressive but still short of the capability required of an effective air defense radar. For comparison, the huge 96L6E cheeseboard radar employed by the Russian S-400 surface-to-air missile system has a maximum detection range of around 250 miles, and the Israeli, built green pine radar deployed for the air defense has a range of 310 miles. If the quantum radar can't be extended to greater range, its operational applications would remain relatively narrow. Stealth jets can already be detected using existing technologies. Contemporary low bandwidth radars can detect the general position of stealth aircraft from a great distance. However, these lack the precision to lock weapons on a detected target, so they would instead need to coordinate an ambush by high bandwidth platforms at short range. Sophisticated new infrared search and track IRST, systems mounted on modern fighters offer means to both detect and target stealth aircraft, though again, only within a shorter range envelop likely under 50 miles. Quantum radars might also bring some interesting new capabilities. For one, they would be capable of detecting the material of targets they detect and other properties due to the way beamed particles interact with surfaces they contact. This could allow for much more detailed identification of blips on the radar helping distinguish between decoys and real fighters or ballistic missiles, and perhaps even detecting what type of payloads and warheads. Clearly, quantum radar holds significant potential. However, whether that potential can translate into viable operational systems outside the laboratory remains unclear. If it can, such systems will still likely require decades to develop. Now Canada has joined China and the United States to do so. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.